Well, harking back to those assaulted monsters we saw earlier, there can't be a more appropriate reason for talking to one of the men who helped to bring them to life and finally succeeded in providing them with a very sticky end indeed. The man in question is Doctor Who Mark II, better known as Patrick Troughton. Patrick! Oh. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> come back to us, come back to us, yes. What was it like as hey, a... kids, all right? Get the recording going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. Um, what was it like playing Doctor Who for three years? It seems to have... Was it like a sort of second childhood for you? It was very good fun. We had a wonderful time with some wonderful people. And it was... Uh, well, it was a very jokey part, and so... Um, in fact, you made it a jokey part, didn't you? Because Doctor Who Mark I was a little bit more um, serious. He was rather more old and, and cantankerous, whereas you, you introduced yes. an element of comedy into it. Well, we had to do something a bit different. Um, my original idea was to uh, black up and wear a big turban and brass earrings and a big grey beard and do it like the Arabian Nights. I thought it was a wonderful idea because, you see, when I'd finished, I could shave off, take the black off, take my turban off, and nobody would know who I was. It's and I wouldn't be typecast. <laughs> but they didn't think that was a very good idea. You haven't played very many comedies, but uh, why is that? I all the time. What? <laughs> No, I was just wondering, you see, you introduced this element of comedy into Doctor Who, and yet really you were known as a serious actor. Does this mean that really, um, sort of underneath this serious face of yours, you, you really would like to play more comedy parts? But Doctor Who was a serious part. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a, an unserious part at all. It, it, uh, gracious me, uh, Billy had made him uh, this crotchety uh, old gentleman. He was very serious, and I had to be very serious too. But the way I made it serious was by, uh, well, by making him a bit of a clown to start with, a sort of offbeat thing, you see. But that, uh, we started rather wild, and we mellowed as the time went on, you see. Was it, in fact, difficult making the change from Doctor Who back into uh, a normal acting role? Because you, you went into yes. a historical character after that, didn't you? Yes, it was a bit difficult. Um, when you're in a park for three years, you, uh, well, let's say you get rather in the habit of playing it and uh, into that way of thinking. And uh, I suddenly had to uh, play a very serious uh, Duke of Norfolk. And instead of reading up about Norfolk and so on, although I did that, I found myself trying to think of all the ways I could be different from Doctor Who, you see, because it was only, I only had a week in between finishing one and rehearsing the other. So um, I had to watch that very carefully, and it was just a bit, uh, a bit difficult. Of course, you played lots of villains' parts. You played lots of heroes' parts as well. In fact, oh, yes. am I right in thinking that you were the first Robin Hood on television? Yes, yes, that's right. What was it like About the time that Stalin part? pegged out. <laughs> it was me and Stalin on the front page. What? What, did you say? what, what was it like? Because you actually had to do that live, didn't you, in those days? You didn't have such things yes. as recorded plays. No, we did that live. And uh, <laughs> you, you were telling me about one... all the sorts of problems you had. Didn't yes. You? Uh, we had, uh, in one scene, we had back projection, which, of course, everyone knows what that is, um, which is a sort of slide which comes in and is a, was a picture of the forest, you see? And on this occasion, we'd got uh, a film crew to do the back projection. And I don't think they quite realised that we were live on television. Anyhow, we started the scene. Uh, Leonard Sachs, I think it was, and myself. And there was a great crashing and banging behind us. And we thought, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Strange noise and, in the um, forest. <laughs> there was a sort of shout of, uh, oh, it's your end. No, no, it's your end. <laughs> And we, we turned around, and the forest had come in sideways. <laughs> and all the trees were, were that way round instead of that way round. And then there was a more crashing and banging, and the screen went blank behind us. <laughs> and all the trees came upright, and we had to go on playing, you know. Mm. And that was right. a sort of touch of early science fiction in the middle of Robin Hood, almost. Yes, yes. <laughs> I could say that. But as I yeah. said earlier on, you've also that. played a lot of villainous uh, characters as well. What yes. attracts you to that sort of... Nothing attracts me. I just get cast as them occasionally. 
Oh, go on. I just Did you enjoy take... playing them? Oh, yes, I always enjoy playing things, but uh, I just take what part comes along. It's, uh, it's, like a, it's like a great big lucky dip. It's lovely. And, uh, you know, different people see me as different things, and I... Um, Do you enjoy yeah. playing the real character parts? Um, such as, as villains, for instance, perhaps you can get more into a part of a villain than it. Yeah, as long as they're well written. Super. <laughs> Marvellous. You tend to be someone who has avoided giving interviews and talking to the press a lot over the years. Who said that? You did. You told me that earlier on. Why well, did I? Because <laughs> I was, I never I was very interested, though, because you also what gave I me a very good What I said was I always enjoy having interviews with the BBC, <laughs> which is quite a different thing. Yes, but you yeah. did say that you liked to keep the illusion of the character, isn't that Did so? I? Oh, yes. Keep the illusion of the character. How do you mean? Yes, well, you're, you're interviewing me now. You yeah. explain to me what you meant by that very quickly. Well, I don't know when I said that. Well, I, I think, I think what uh, what we mean here is um, that it's uh, important to take the part seriously. Really, that's all it boils down to, which means doing your homework on it. The Americans. <laughs> But not say that really. <coughs> Ten years no. or fifteen years ago, they call it the method. You know what it really means is thinking about what you're doing at home before you come and do it. Really. Yes, and and what it means that Patrick Troughton, the actor, enjoys Steady. keeping himself what? Yes. apart from his the character that he plays. He's two separate people. Anyway, Patrick. I didn't say that either. <laughs> you're getting a real muddle. It's lies, all lies. <coughs> <coughs> I'm trying to work out exactly what he did say, actually. Well,